Hey guys, welcome back to the Aquarium Library with Andrew. Today we're going to be talking about how to reduce our nitrates in our tanks. And we're going to be talking about a couple different ways to both reduce them in the current moment as well as prevent them from accumulating to begin with. We're also going to be going through those lists and what I think are the worst options that we have and what I think are our best options that we have when we are looking at solving our nitrate problems as a hobbyist. So the first way to reduce nitrates is through the usage of chemicals. There are tons of chemicals out there that will reduce your nitrates for you, but they are just a quick fix to your problem. They aren't going to address the root of your problem, where all that nitrate is coming from. And the later steps that we talk about in this video are going to hopefully address those root problems and help mitigate your nitrate accumulation to begin with. So if you are in a bind or in a pinch and you need to figure out a way to reduce your nitrates, these are a great way to reduce them in that moment. But I don't think that they should be a long-term solution for your nitrate problems. A, it's going to cost you a lot of money. B, you're going to have to be continuously removing and changing and messing with your filters to get out. And C, it's really not sustainable. And D, you're going to be spending a lot of money. I already mentioned that, and I just don't think that's the best way to spend our money when keeping fish, because there are a lot cheaper alternatives that we can be doing to mitigate and to address the nitrates than just using chemicals. The second way to lower nitrates within an aquarium is going to be actually through feeding less to your fish. because that nitrate that we are accumulating is coming from somewhere and that somewhere is coming from the fish feed that we are feeding our fish. So if we reduce the amount of feed we're putting into our tanks, we can then reduce the amount of nitrates that are coming into our tanks. And just because your fish is coming up to you whenever you walk past the tank doesn't mean you have to feed it. It doesn't mean you have to feed it four or five or six times a day or feed it until it is absolutely gorged itself on food. You can reduce that feeding and see how much it eats in say 30 seconds. But any of that food that the fish does not eat in that feeding time is going to start breaking down as waste within our systems, as well as the waste that is coming from the fish as it is consuming and breaking down all of that food. Because eventually it just ends up as a metabolic waste or just a waste in and of itself and becomes ammonia. And that ammonia is the starting block to nitrite and nitrate nitrate which we are trying to lower. So if we reduce our feed intake, we can then reduce the amount of fish food that the fish is actually eating as well as the excess fish food that is then accumulating in our filters. And just because it accumulates in our filters does not mean that it is out of our system. So that's the third thing that we're going to talk about and that is dirty filters. Dirty filters are going to be problematic for us when we are dealing with nitrates because it's going to accumulate the uneaten feed and organic matter that we have within our systems. And just because it's out of sight, out of mind, does not mean that it's out of our system. It is still in the system and it's gonna to continue to break down into nitrate. So we are going to want to address that by doing routine maintenance on our filters and removing all of that organic matter that is in our tanks, our uneaten fish food, our dead plant matter, our dead bacteria, the particulates that is picking up from the poop, all these things, we wanna remove them out of the system because that's going to contribute to the degradation of our water quality, which just means the increased level of nitrates within our system, which we are trying to avoid. So making sure we are routinely cleaning that filter and getting it all nice and cleaned out is a great way to help mitigate and help prevent uh, nitrate accumulation within our tanks. The fourth way that we can reduce nitrates within our tank is through water changes. Good old tried and true water changes they are a fantastic way to get rid of nitrates. And all we're doing is we're gonna be taking water that has a lot of nitrates, removing it from the system, and putting in new water that has significantly less or zero nitrates within our system. And by doing that, we're gonna slowly start chipping away, or largely chipping away, at how much nitrates within our system. When we're doing water changes, it's going to depend on your particular tank parameters and fish that you have, and how much and how frequently you can do water changes. Some fish might tolerate a more frequent water change regimen and other ones might not appreciate a very frequent one or some others might appreciate or can handle a large water change whereas other ones might only be able to handle a small water change. It's going to come down to each one of your individual situations, individual tanks, but a pretty good safe middle ground to go is a 25% water change. And if you slowly keep doing a 25% water change, even just once a week using the proper conditioned water, so you're not putting chlorines into your tanks, you can slowly start chipping away at that 
nitrate that you start off with. If however, when you're doing your water changes, you are still finding yourself staying at a relatively high amount of nitrates, this next thing might be beneficial to you and that is looking at your source water. Your source water or your tap water or your well water very well might have nitrates already coming in with it. And this is perfectly legal within uh, the US to have some amount of nitrates within the water that is coming into your house. So that might be what is influencing a higher nitrate in your systems. You might do a water change and all of a sudden you have a decreased amount of nitrates, but you still have a good amount of nitrates in there. Something you might want to look at in that situation then in order to reduce the nitrates coming into your tap water is to use an RO system or RODI system or something that is going to purify the water and remove that nitrate out of the actual water itself. And then you can use that water uh, within your tanks to then be able to do your water change without having that nitrate coming into your system through your tap water. The sixth way that we can reduce nitrates within our tank is through the uses of plants. And that might be a very obvious one, but I think that it is the best way that we can reduce nitrates within our tank and minimize the amount of water and other things that we're having to do to the tank. A very simple way is through a planted tank like the one next to me. You could also use floating plants like anacharis or hornwort or guppy grass or focusing on octopus. Things of that nature, they're gonna grow in your water column that will absorb and use that nitrate as a fertilizer as well. Additionally, you could also use duckweed or sylvinia or water hyacinth or water lettuce as a way to also remove nitrates from your system and having that floating on top of your tank. But some of you out there might be like, well, Andrew, I have fish that can't or won't tolerate plants. They either chew them or they eat them and I just can't keep plants. Fair. That is a legitimate concern or problem. And I have a couple solutions for you. And this could also work for people that just don't wanna do a planted tank and don't wanna have plants in the tank, but still wanna have the benefits of plants within their system to remove nitrates from their system. The first thing that we have or we could use is an algae scrubber. It's basically a light on the outside of the tank with a box on the inside with water flowing through it. And as the light shines in, algae starts growing. And as water is passing through, that algae is going to be consuming and utilizing that nitrate as a fertilizer. And it will start growing and growing and growing. And after, it's usually about a week's time, you wanna remove that container that has all that algae in it now, dump it out and put it back in. And that's an algae scrub basically. It reduces the nitrates by producing more algae. Uh, another way that we can reduce the amount of nitrates that are in our tanks is through the usage of a sump. If you already have a sump on your aquarium, either freshwater or saltwater, you can use or create a refugium down there either for uh, aquatic plants or for terrestrial plants and provide a light down there and you can grow plants in your sump that would otherwise not be able to grow in your normal tank. And then that way you can still have the benefits of the plants to reduce the amount of nitrates in your tank, but you don't have to worry about them getting destroyed by the fish or inhabitants of your tank. Another way that we can grow plants that isn't going to be inside the tanks is through the usage of a marina breeder box or a fluval breeder box as they are now called. What we can do is we can put plants on the inside of the breeder box here and we will have air pumping water up into that breeder box and whatever plants we put in there, either be your aquatic or it could be terrestrial like pothos or philodendron or mint or things of that nature, we can then be able to utilize those plants with the light above them to remove nitrates from the water. As that water comes in that's nitrogen rich or high in nitrates, it's gonna go through the plant roots and the plants are gonna be able to absorb some of that. And when it returns back to the tank, it is going to be in theory, a lower nitrate amount than what it went in there initially. And over time, these plants can remove a lot of nitrates from a system. And this is how aquaponic systems actually work. It's the uses of terrestrial plants to utilize the nitrates as a fertilizer for the plants that come from the fish. But that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. And I don't want to go down that rabbit hole because I love it, but I need to stay focused and tell you guys the last way that we can do nitrate reduction through plants. And that is through an overhead sump. And what we do is we create an overhead sump. And if you guys don't know what that is, you guys can look it up after the end of this video. Basically all it is is a filtration system where you're pumping water up into a trough or to another tank and then it goes through multiple different filter stages and then back down into your tank. And in that multiple different filter stages, you can put in some plants that we already talked about, like pothos or philodendrons or mints or other types of terrestrial plants into the media that you have up there. And in that media, they'll start growing and be able to also reduce the amount of nitrates that we have in our tanks. If you guys wanna learn more about nitrates, I'll leave my video on the nitrogen cycle over here. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you guys over there. See ya.